Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this like super Christmas tree inspired makeup look using the Juvia's Place Deuce, Deuce palette. It's super gorgeous. They have so many different like, like I feel like festive eyeshadow colours. They're so pretty. There's some gorgeous shimmers. Some gorgeous like pinks. The greens is what I played with today. I just thought it was so beautiful. And I just wanted to play around with the palette. I just got it today in the mail. Got home from work and I was like, okay, I'm going to sit down, film a tutorial and just, just have fun with you guys. It is a very chit chatty video. I just literally am just getting ready with you all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me, hun. That really helps me out so I know what tutorials you like to see. And if you have any requests, make sure to leave them down below and I will be sure to recreate or like do a look like that that you'd like me to do. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day and enjoy this tutorial on my Christmas tree inspired, on my Christmas tree inspired makeup look. Yeah. Anyways, bye guys. Oh. Woo. And it's so hot today. Oh. I mean, like, this is also black, but, like, look how much breathing space I have now. Wow. So guys, don't mind if you can hear my fan going on in the background. It's just really, really hot today. It's actually the afternoon and it's 43 degrees. <gasps> so this is definitely going to be a chit-chat tutorial. I just feel like a bit chit-chatting today. It's going to be playing around. Guys, guys, I got the Deuce, Deuce, do you say? Anyways, the Deuce palette from Juvia's Place. So it's like got heaps of different like shimmer shades. It's gorgeous. I thought it was so festive for the holidays. And I haven't, yeah, I haven't had a new palette to play with for a while. So I'm going to play around with this palette today. I'm so excited. Don't mind me if I get a Sula going on, guys. Like I've already got one happening right now. It's just hot. What can I say? I'm going to be sweating like a pig. But we can sweat together. So... I'll start with the skin because but then I'm going to sweat it off so I don't know you know what I might actually start with the eyes today because I'm just going to sweat off the skin like let's be real I'll do that last so I'll zoom you guys in for the, the, the eyes and that one's first so I'm going to first prime my lids to get rid of any unevenness unevenness and you know veins redness uneven texture I don't know just any of that kind of stuff on the lids so I'm going to grab my Soft Ochre Paint Pot, Paint Pot from MAC and apply this on the lid area from lid to brow. Like cover that whole area so it's nice and even and it's just a nice blank canvas for us to work with. I mean like isn't that song just so fitting right now? Like it's so... Hot. I'm just going to be saying that the whole video guys, like I'm sorry. Like, I've, got, I've got a nice little flush from this heat, like my skin is just so red. Very hot. So because the Juvia's Place Deuce palette doesn't have a setting palette, like a setting eyeshadow one, I'm just going to grab this matte bone coloured like creamy eyeshadow and set that all over from lid to brow bone to set that um, paint pot in place so that it won't crease and it helps the eyeshadows blend more seamlessly having something like an eyeshadow sitting there rather than just cream. So once our eyelids are set in place, I'm going to grab the Juvia's Pet Place palette. I keep saying that, like, place. I mean, place. You know what? I might actually use these three greens and a bit of that deep brown today and just see where that takes us. Let's just see where we go from there, shall we? So to begin off with, I want to have a transition color in the crease. So I'm going to take my 350 palette from Morphe and use these, like, two brown shades. They're very light and they're just a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. So I can use those in the crease as a nice soft transition. So now I've got that nice soft transition in there, I can just use that to help soften the colours that we apply on further. I'm actually going to dip into the Juvia's Place palette. I'm actually going to go in with this like warm tone brown. It's almost like a reddy brown. It's so pretty. It's like, like, yeah, it's like a bricky brown shade. I'm going to use that in the crease just below the transition colour. And I've blended it out pretty um, softly, so a lot of, little bit of the shadow goes a long way, so I've applied it through the outer corner and, and crease, and buffed it up into that transition shade, so it's nice and soft. Next, on a pencil brush, I'm going to take Chocolate from the Juvia's Place palette. It's a gorgeous, rich brown shade. I'm going to pack this on the outer V of my eye and through the outer crease. 
So as you can see, I'm just applying it like along the lash line out a corner and just packing it on and into the crease. Taking crepes again on a petite crease brush, I'm just gonna blend out the edges of that deep chocolate color. And then take chocolate again and bring back that color. I might even take this brown shade from my 350 palette just because I need a tone just in between those two shadows, something to help blend them together a bit more seamlessly. And crepes. And then some of that transition shade. To actually richen up these greens that we're going to apply in the lid, I'm going to go in with the first a cream base like eyeshadow. And this one is from Maybelline, it's the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadows. And I'm going in with Edgy Emerald, and I'm just going to pack that on like the inner half of our lid. Just kind of cutting the crease with it. So that's just going to be like a nice little base for the green eyeshadows that we're going to apply on next, which I'm super excited! So I'm first going to take the darker one, which is like mixed with a bit of silver too. It's actually so gorgeous, so gorgeous. It's called Mont Blanc. And I'm going to apply this on with like a chisel shader brush, one that can really pack on the pigment really well, like the eyeshadow. I'm kind of like diffusing it into the brown so that there's not such a harsh line where the brown meets that green base. Uh, it's like a bit of like a silvery shimmer to it, like it totally reminds me of tinsel right now, like I'm getting tinsel vibes. So pretty. That was so bad, that's such a bad Scottish accent. Okay, next we're going to take macaroons, macarons, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going to apply that just over top of that like Mont, Mont Blanc shade. That makes it a little bit more greener as well. So I'm going to help that green fade into those deep browns. So I'm going to take that like medium brown shade from the Morphe 350 palette and just kind of put that between that green shade and the browns to help them blend together. Then I'm taking crepes again and putting that just in between the brown and the green as well because I need it to be a bit more lighter I think. Now you've got your nice little kind of blend together. I'm actually going to make it even more like Boom! I'm going to apply NYX's mermaid shade right on like the center of the lid for like a pop, like a real big pop -a shimmer. Bit of green, a bit more green I mean, because this is just the most beautiful shadow ever. I'm just taking some of that um, uh, first green we used, the Mont Blanc one, and applying that just where the brown meets the green because I do need a bit of like a difference in shadow I feel. Just a bit more. So next to Mermaid, just apply it there so it kind of has a bit of like a transition. I think it, and I, think, I feel like it fades into the brown a bit softer as well doing that. So I applied the mascara and lashes, and the lashes I went in with today are the um, Icona lashes from their Midnight Collection in, of course, the style Make Him Miss Me. Like, girl, do you see these lashes? Like, drama central but they're not too much they're just wispy and I love wispy lashes guys like lately the wispiness has just been my thing so I've got the lashes on so I'm going to move on to my skin before I can do like the inner corner and like the rest of the eyes because we need to conceal up a little bit of something something here so I won't bother moisturizing if you guys have dry skin then of course go in with a moisturizer so that your skin is nice and plump but mine is pretty pretty moisturized so I'm going to go in with my 100% pure mattifying primer with vitamins and antioxidants so it's good for my skin because it's, it's um putting good stuff into it and it's also got like a lot less chemicals than a lot of other primers have so it's going to really benefit my skin but it's also going to mattify it which is exactly what I want and you can actually like see it mattifying my skin like it actually works so well this primer I love it because it is natural. I also bring it down my skin as well, like my neck, sorry, to mattify that area as well. And you know what, for that extra oil protection, I'm going to go in with my Skindinavia Makeup Primer Spray in oil control. So it's going to really help control those oil, excess oils on my skin from creating that greasy, like, so I don't get that mask look on my skin when the oils separate my makeup from my skin. You know, I actually never read the back of this, but it's also supposed to help um, even out skin tone, reduce the appearance of large pores and prevent breakouts and it's also silicon free which I really like. I don't like when primers have silicon in it because it makes it look really like slippery and it's not, silicon's really not good for your skin so I try to avoid that as well. 
But yeah, now that I'm doubly primed and ready to go, I'm going to grab my foundation. I'm going to mix a couple today because I don't actually have my shade in the Fit Me Matte and Pores one because I'm already too tan for the creamy beige one now. So I like to just mix this one in with my tannest foundation, which is my EX1 Invisiwear foundation. They both have such a really nice finish to them. It's just that the Matte and Pores one really does help me stay you know, matte for a long period of time but this one has such a good sh like this is like the perfect shade for me right now um, mixed with a bit of a lighter foundation and also it's just it's a really good like foundation for like olive skin tones the e EX1 one because the shades they have are like a more greenish like um, golden undertone so that's good for like olive skin girls and guys it's not like orange which you can like start to look a bit like that when you have a tanner foundation they can tend to be a bit more redder undertoned but this one's more green, which I like. Creates a more of like a natural skin, more skin-like finish. I'm so happy with how my skin has been going, guys. Like this, I'm so grateful to SkinShot and everything for helping me, you know, really clear up my skin naturally. Like that was my whole goal when I got acne, was to do it properly and clear it up naturally. Not with Accutane, not with any of those other drugs and stuff. I wanted to do it naturally. And it's helped so much. And I will do my final update video soon because it has, I think it's, I think it's been the full 90 days or really close to the full 90 days now. But I'll probably have to do it in like a couple of weeks when um, I'll do a full update in a couple of weeks when um, I've done all my holiday kind of videos, like makeup videos and stuff. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm so excited to do my final update one. If you guys have been using SkinShot, like let me know how you're going. Comment below. I want to know how you guys are finding it. Has it helped? Have you seen a difference? Have you applied the little... Um, tips in the um, guide in their little ebook because that really helped me as well. For concealer, I'm just going to take my Ello Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and apply that under my eyes and highlight the center of the face a little bit as well. And then I'm just buffing it out with my concealer buffer brush from Zoeva. So, guys, I went to Carol's in the Domain on um, Sunday. Oh, it was so much fun. I, If you guys had me on Snapchat, you would have seen. I had so much fun. I went with my like, little fam bam. That was so funny. I swear, my mum bust out the funniest dance moves. Like, the real dorky, like, you know, like, mum moves. Like, you know, parents have, like, their little dorky moves. It's so cute. Like, I, I just, it was so much fun. I love carols. Like, I swear, carols is probably one of my favourite things about Christmas. Like, I get so into it. It's just so uplifting. And, oh, uh, everyone gets so excited and, like, you just feel all the love in the air, like it's so wonderful. I love carols at Christmas time, especially like going to see them. <gasps> it was so much fun. And then I'm just going to take my Glyps Blur Powder and just set everywhere, like all over my face, but um, more so where I've placed the concealer down because that's where my oily areas are. Like my whole face is kind of going to get set today because it is a hot day and I like to lock my whole makeup in place. But I'm going to set like m more heavily under the eyes and like concealer areas and then just lightly whatever's left on the sponge like just pack it on everywhere else and I like to set my solar area really well and then I'm just going to take my all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay and do a nice thick layer of that to really lock my makeup in place so it doesn't you know droop oh, what droop was that word? so it doesn't like fade or like you know just separate from my skin. I want to all melt in place and really just try and lock it in. Plus I feel like it just gives a bit of life back to the skin. It doesn't just look like a powdered cake, like a little, you know, baked cake. We actually look like we have skin on. Skin on? We're, it looks like we're our, our normal skin, basically. Now for my brows. I'm going to take my brow pencil because like I said, I've been loving the brow pencil look lately. And I might fill them in just a smidge and a bit darker because it is a more dramatic eye look. So I'm just going to take my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Brunette and just start shaping my brows and filling in any sparse areas. I don't go too crazy with the brows just because I've been liking a more bushier, natural looking brow lately. I will do an updated brow routine soon guys so stay tuned for that. It will be in, in a few weeks or so when I've kind of, yeah, like I said, done all holiday looks and things. And then I'm just going in with some tinted brow gel to set those brow hairs in place and kind of brush them upwards to make a more bushier looking brow. Okay. The brows are done. The base is nearly done. 
I swear guys, like, from here up it looks like I've got everything together, but from there, from like literally the camera down, like, here down, it's just like sweat. I'm just like, so hot. So hot. I think I might bronze today as well. I think I might do a bit of bronze. I think I might even skip blush, like, oh, I know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. So I'm going to take my NYX contour and highlight kit today, guys. Like, I know, your girl's going to change it up. So I'm actually going to take this, like, bronzy shade and mix it in with this deeper brown shade. I'm going to, like, kind of bronze contour with it. Bronze slash contour. Oh, it looks, like, harsh in camera, but guys, I swear in real life, it's not so harsh. Or maybe it's a little bit harsh in real life, but... <sighs> I need to blend that she's not out. FYI, it's a little bit pigmented, the palette. I forgot. I haven't used it in super long. So, I just forgot how pigmented it is. Oh well, I'll just blend it out with a beauty sponge in a sec. Let's finish the face. I mean, like, I went dramatic on one side, I'm gonna go dramatic on the other. I mean, like, I did okay on the forehead, it's just the cheeks a little bit. I want a little bit heavy hand, dude. Don't worry about the stark line on my face, I'll blend it out in a second, honey bee. And of course, you gotta bring down the bod a little bit. And I'm just gonna take my little sponge with a bit of like foundation on it. Like, a, and I mean like a little bit, like a smidgen, just to soften that edge. See how it's a lot softer than this side? It's like quite harsh. Soft? Harsh. Soft? Harsh. You know what I actually want to highlight with like some of the Juvia's Place eyeshadows today? Just because I feel like that would be so pretty. So pretty. We'll do that in a sec. I'll finish off the eyes first. So I'm going to place a brown eye coat in my waterline. This one's from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And I'm taking it from inner all the way to outer corner. Lap a song. Next I'm going to wiggle chocolate and crepes along my lash line with a definer brush from Zoeva. All the way from outer corner to inner corner to really like smoke out that bottom lash line. I mean like if you guys didn't want it so dramatic you can just do um, from outer corner to about halfway. Then on a pencil brush I'm going to take some of crepes and also mix it with some of that transition colour that we used at the beginning and smudge it underneath my lash line to buff out that harsh line. Then for like a banging in a corner highlight I'm going to take Tarte from the Juvia's Place palette and Whoa. place that on my very inner corners. That's pretty huh? I don't know what I want. I don't want it that pink. Scratch that guys. I think I might just apply some of Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen to my inner corner. And also Brow Bone. I mean, that was such a pretty shade, that tart one, but it's a bit too pinky with this green. Like, it doesn't contrast very well. I think it's, it would go well with the other pinky shimmery shades. Like, it was a stunning shade. I just think, yeah, it was a bit too pinky. That's okay. We saved it with Shimmy Shimmery and Ice Queen. So good. So good, hun. Then all I did was place on some bottom lash mascara, and the eyes are finished. So you guys know how I said I wasn't going to apply blush? Well, I kind of want to do that pinky like highlight on my cheeks. So I think I might apply blush just, just so I can do that. Just because I want to be a bit extra for this holiday look. So I'm taking my Morphe 9N palette and mixing these like two peachy blushy shades from the palette. And applying them to the contours of my face and also on the apples. Like whatever excess is on the brush, I bring it onto the apples of the cheeks. And then taking this gorgeous shimmery eyeshadow from the Juvia's Place palette in the shade Puffs. I'm going to apply that to the high points of my face. And a little bit on like the high points of the cheeks to give it a little bit of a glow. And for the rest of my face, I'm just going to take Shimmer Shimmer and apply that to the high points. I'm not going to apply any to like above my brow because it just makes me look kind of greasy. Same with my chin. I just kind of keep it cheekbones, nose, and like lips. I don't want to do it anywhere else because this other just looks really, really greasy, especially on like hot days like this one when I actually am greasy. I'm just going to spritz my face again. I'm taking my dose of colours chocolate wasted and I'm going to apply that to my lips for a deep brown Christmas tree feels. Like chocolates on Christmas, it's just so good. 
and this is with the deep brown I actually really like it I actually really think it ties in so well with the eyes oh my gosh I actually really love this look <gasps> anyways guys this completes the makeup look for today I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna wrap this up go take a shower get into a nice just long baggy t-shirt and sit in front of the aircon. I think that's the way to go this afternoon. I hope you guys had a great time watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you do recreate this look, then make sure to tag me in any social medias. I'll link them all down below just for you, hun. And let me zoom out a little bit because I just realized I'm a little bit close. But yeah, let me know if you want me to recreate any of these, like any other looks with this palette, or if you have any other ideas or you know looks that you want me to do, then let me know. Just comment down below and let me know. And I will be sure to recreate them for you. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys. I love you all so, so much. And Merry Christmas. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm, that was my big kiss and I didn't follow a kiss. Awkward.